Uh, yeah, once or twice. Oh my goodness. I am here with my friend, John, and I am so excited because this is the second time that we have had the absolute pleasure of announcing your publication to the world in the way of a children's book. So first of all, John, please let me welcome you to the virtual stage today, if you will. Um, how's launch day going? Launch day is going great, Kate. And thank you so much for doing this live interview with me today. So I am so excited because look what just came for me. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at this beauty. Oh my well, goodness. Amazing. That's and so it cool. is a beauty, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's so, so, so super cool to hold it in your hand, your creation, right? Your imagination. Yeah. Uh, your heart and soul, all the work that you have put into this and poured into this, along with Chloe over the last several months, um, just and you guys and Heather and every, your team and you know everybody collaborating. So thank you, thank yeah. you. You're absolutely right. You know just, the the team takes care. Heather takes care of so much behind the scenes. Uh, thank you for the acknowledgement of that. Um, and we're just so blessed and happy to be here to hold the space for you and to allow this to come to fruition. Because when I read your first manuscript, so if you don't have the first book, Mom and Dad, then we'll make sure we put the link here so you can get that one as well. Um, but this book is Mom and Dad, 10 Things I Want You to Know About Nature. And I really would love for you to explain this very unique approach to writing a children's book and kind of where your inspiration came from. You know, it, it still continues to come from my grandsons that, that have been born. I have a new grandson that's only four months old now, I think. And just like they offer, and I just see so much children offer so much to us if we would just take a little bit of time to, to watch because, you know, we're there to be parents and to teach them what hot and cold is like, you know, don't touch the oven, those, all these different things that, you know, are important. But they're also here to, to teach us to remember what it was like to be a kid, to be present with, um, with life, be present with me, put down your phone, let's go out and explore different things. And so for me, mom and dad, 10 things I want you to know about nature is just the next step in this mom and dad series I wanted to do. And it was just like, go show me what, what is nature about? Let me see, what is a mountain? What can we do? And you know, and metaphorically, it's like we got lots of things to climb in this world. And so mountains are there to show us, mom, dad, we can climb mountains, you know, and, and it'd be OK. And to see a bird and to go, wow, it's got a particular song for that bird. And for each of us, me, Kate, you know, Chloe, you know, people on your team, we all have this song that's bursting to come out and so. Nature is so important and you just go sit in it. You can just sit by a tree and just listen to what the tree is saying. It's just saying, I just wanna be, I just wanna reach out my branches and just be a tree. It's never saying like the book says, oh, I wish I had rose petals adorning my, my trunk. It's like, no, I'm just gonna be me, so. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh my gosh, that was a, such a beautiful synopsis. Um, and the book is, how do, it's, it's so, it's, it's deep, right? I mean, the, it's, it is 10 things I want you to know and in, in the most simplistic way, but there's so much more to it, right? I mean, there's, there's really a lot of layers to this entire series, but also this book that we're talking about today with nature. Um, and I just really love how you've been able to capture that. And you've been able to really, um, take this unique idea and, and also be, illustrate some of the pictures, right. Um, and bring the art to this book. It's been such a beautiful, beautiful process to watch this come together. So what is your hope for this book as it travels out into the world today? Oh gosh, I just think the intention of that, of this book is for people just to take a copy and then just go sit, sit in the park or, or sit under a tree or by a stream or just go for a walk, you know? <sighs> And yeah. because nature is all around us, I think we forget that we maybe we have to go out into the forest, but we don't. We could just go sit in the backyard and see what okay. birds show up around the bird feeder, you know. Or yesterday, I was walking in the grass, and a couple garter snakes were walking, were crawling around in the grass too. It's like wow! Oh my gosh! 
John, I'm not a snake person. <laughs> <laughs> but they just came, the grass just came to yeah. life. And it's like, wow, nature is all around us. And yeah, yeah, I see a tree growing out of the side of a rock. And it's like amazing that it just pushes up wherever it can find a little bit of, of um, nourishment, a little bit of dirt, a little bit of water. And it just pushes up out of that rock. It's like nature is so there to let us know that, um, yeah. That, uh, that it's going to be around a lot longer than we are, you know, it yeah. just nature is just telling us just, just to be just, gosh, I just get so excited about, about nature when I see it, some, you know, things happening. It's just like, you know, I do was outside and it's like seeing the new mushrooms just pushing up out of the ground. It's like, my gosh, they were there yesterday and all of a sudden they're there, you know. So, uh, I, I share your sentiment. Um, first of all, I do believe our kids are truly here to teach us. I believe they chose us. Um, I believe that, mm. um, they, they chose us and it's up to us to be open to receiving who they are so that we can learn the lessons that they're here to give. Um, so I, I really share your sentiment in that. I, I My kids don't know about this book yet because it just came. So I can't wait to surprise them with it. I'm going to have to wait and because I, I want to sit out in nature, but I'm going to just be completely transparent. I'm not going to do it in the rain. So it's raining today. <laughs> So I'm going to wait and I'm going to surprise them when we have a day that we can go. And I am going to take your advice, Sean, and I'm going to go and I'm going to sit under a tree in our yard and I'm going to read the book to them at that time because they haven't read this one yet. Um, and so I, I can't wait to give you the feedback about that. Um, and I really also share your sentiment about being in awe, just in complete awe of nature and all that it is capable of doing in the most simplistic way. I mean, I always like, uh, I, I'm always taking in nature and I have ever since I can remember. And I've just always stopped and, and looked at a tree and wonder how long it's been there and what it has seen and what it has experienced and what it has taught and what it has brought. Right. Uh, and, and flowers, you know, just like, even like, I always say to my children, like when we're traveling and we see all these, these different flowers and, and, uh, bushes and, and just, all the nature, right? And I'm like, how does it know how to, it, it started with a seed. Like, how does the flower know to grow into this shape and these colors and, you know, this size? And it just is fascinating to me. It's just so fascinating, all the different aspects of nature. And just really thinking about that for a second, like, it starts as a seed, right? Or it, how does it, you know, know to come up through that exact, you know, opening? It just is given this much of an opening and it, and it can survive by just being. It innately knows what to do. And I think there's lessons in that too, right? But so do we. If we can be still like that, if we can just be open to the openings for us, which are available to us every single day, we also know what to do, right? And I just love that you're communicating and bringing these messages out to the world because they're so important and it does start with our children. So where can we find your book today, John? You can find it on Amazon. I'm so yeah. excited. <laughs> you know, it, it sits, I was, yeah, it sits right below the other book, you know? It's, so it's like, oh my gosh, it was so exciting to see both of them sitting right on top of each other, so. Yeah. Isn't that Everyone. thrilling? Is it? It's just one thing first and foremost to see your name on Amazon and you're like, oh my goodness, like I'm a, <laughs> I have a, like a book on Amazon and my name's here. Like this is wild. But yeah, tell me a little bit about that. How did that feel when it was two side by side? Because that's, that's a pretty extraordinary thing. Well, you know, it's just like getting goosebumps and it's like, uh, you know, I can't compare it to, you know, <laughs> I can't compare it to writing, you know, like Beatles writing a song and then coming up with another song, but it's another song, but it's like, I can just all of a sudden go, wow, you know, you've done this once, now you've done it twice. Now it's like, it's getting to be this normal. It's like, I was walking the other day. It's like, I've already come up with another idea for another book, you know, it was like a little boy and his bear. And it's like, all right, that could happen. That could happen, you know. This and is I your know, song now. You know, this, this, this is your song out into the world. Yeah. Just like they're, you know, musicians are producing a song. I mean, this this is your song. Yeah. And, and I remember I wanna, you telling me, yeah. you, you told me one day, um, you know, because I said, hey, I got another idea. And you said, write it down because if you don't capture it, you could lose it. So it's like walking around with a pencil and paper. It's like, have these ideas come out. 
especially when I'm out in nature, it just seems like I see a stream go by, I sit on a rock and it's like, oh my gosh, I get this influx of, of something coming, some information, some knowledge coming from somewhere, not coming from me. It's definitely coming from yeah. infinite, you know, it's so, yeah. Uh, yeah. So writing. I really want to honor you for doing that um, because, you know, we do, I think that's really an important kind of pearl of wisdom that you just dropped there. So I want to make sure we don't miss it. You know, it's, we, when we have that inspiration from, you know, infinite intelligence, you know, our higher power source, energy, God, whatever language you want to use, um, we oft, it, it just feels so easy in that moment because it's literally coming, it's divinely being given to us that divine download, as I call it. Right. And so we take for granted that it's always going to be there just because it feels so aligned and so almost easy. And so it just clicks so much in that moment. And so we do sometimes some of us take for granted that it's always going to be there. And you know, what I have found not only with myself, but with clients over the years is that it isn't always there. So I really want to honor you for capturing that. And then not only capturing it, John, but you would then are taking action on it. Um, and so, you know, right. Like you take one step, the universe takes a thousand. So you take action on it. And then all of the sudden, all of the rest of, um, the how begins to open up for you, right? And flow to you because you're available to that. So congratulations. I am so yeah. happy for you today. Yeah, thank you so much. And I wanted to add to that in that as, as someone takes action, as they put that out, then it inspires somebody else. I mean, how many people have you inspired by what you have done? You just, you inspire somebody else and you never know who you're going to inspire, but how much fun that is in, in the not knowing. It's like, this book is going to inspire other people. You have inspired me to, to keep writing. And so, yeah. That's so true. I mean, I, I can't, you know, there have been times where I have found out years, five, seven years later, um, that, you know, somebody saw something that was put out or read something that was put out. And, you know, you don't know at the time always, and sometimes it takes years and years and years, but we have to trust, especially when we are being divinely guided to show up in a certain way, we have to trust that that, that is there for a reason. So John, thank you for showing up so that we can experience this beautiful message in this beautiful book. We're going to put all the links here on, on our interview today so that you can easily click um, and go right to Amazon, support John in his gorgeous journey of sharing his song and gift with the world. Mm -hmm. um, John, what's next? The bear book is what's next? <laughs> <laughs> you know, there's a there's another one that's kind of already written. It's I think it's about um, mom and dad. Ten things I want you just to remember about your childhood. Just remember, mm -hmm. be kind to yourself, and just remember mm -hmm. these things. Mm -hmm. One of them is the kindness. You yeah. know, be just being kind. Don't be so hard on yourself. So we want more yeah. from John, don't we, everyone? <laughs> it's just so good. Oh my gosh. So enjoy the rest of launch day. I want to encourage everyone to have these books in your library. These, these books should be in your nursery. They should be in your home library. They should be in school libraries. They should be in town libraries. Um, this book has to be in every house and in all of the children's hands because it will make a significant difference. And John, thank you for showing up and writing this book for us. Hey, thank you so much. I appreciate you so much. All right. Take care, everyone. And go buy that book. <laughs> Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs>